Hello friends, welcome to our channel Solution with Fun Manual Learners for Two Kevin. In today's session, in the data of the database management system in your lecture, we are going to discuss with you on the topic that about the queries in the TMS. First of all, in today's session, uh, we will discuss with you the following key points related to SQL. First of all, we will tell you what basically the SQL is, what are the relation with, uh, relation with it, and some of the queries. So, let's create, alter, and talk with the example, and we will discuss with you the, some of the relational model also. So, first of all, we will uh, tell you what basically SQL is. So, form of SQL is a structured query language. So, basically, it is a database or uh, language for querying and modifying the database. What basically it is, it is a database language for querying and modifying the database. And there are two types of SQL uh, and two types of languages present inside the SQL. SQL comprises of two types of languages. First one is the data definition language, and second one is the data manipulation language. First one is the data definition language that is known as DDS, and second one is the data manipulation language that is known as DML. And what are the function of the DDL? Now we are going to discuss with the functionality of DDL and DML. Using the data definition properties of the like SQL, one can do what? One can one can design the uh, one can design the database and one can modify the database also. So this is the functionality of DDL. That one can design the database, one can modify the database also. And using the data manipulation scheme, what we can do? We can store the data from uh, um, that we want to enter inside the database and retrieve the data that is already present inside the database. So what, what we can do using the data manipulation scheme? We can store the data inside the database and we can retrieve also retrieve the data from the database. And now we are going to discuss with the some of the, the some of the basic commands that are basically saved in the inside the data definition level. First one command is the create command. So what we can do user in the command? We can create the table, we can create the views, we can create the databases, we can also create the various commands that are required by us using the data definition in using the create command inside the data definition scheme. Next, uh, next, uh, next question and uh, next is the our create query. What is the how we can uh, create the database? We can create, we can create the database. We can create a view or table, or we can create any view using the create query. If we want to create a database named as college, then what we have, what will be the query for uh, from our side? Create database college. Create database college. Hmm. And if we want to create a table named as well, then what we will write? Create table branch. What we will write? Create table branch. If we want to create a view for the student, then we will write, if you want to view the name of the, all the students in a particular branch, suppose some will write. Then what we will write? Create view for underscore students. What we will write? Create view for students. Similarly, if we want to drop any of the command, if we want to drop any of the command, then what, we, then what command will use? The command that will be used will be the drop command. That is shown inside the red icon. So we can what we can do is we drop, we can drop any of the database, we can drop any of the tables, we can drop any of the views means drop means delete, deleting any of the command. If you want to delete any of the things from the table, then what we have to use? Uh, we have to use the drop command either to delete database, either to delete any of the view, either to delete any of the table. How it can be done is thing? We can, it can be, uh, it, can be uh, it will be case more through this example. Suppose if we want to uh, drop the name database named as college, then what first of all uh, the format here is for this is drop object type and object name. Suppose the object type is database. So we have to drop database object name is college. We have to drop the college database uh, uh, or database of college. So object type is called database and object name is college. So what we will do, we will write the command as drop database college and on, uh, on executing it, college database will be deleted. And when we write drop table branch, then the table named as branch inside the database college will also be there. If you want to drop view for strength, then it will, it will clear the list of all those strengths which we have viewed in the past time. So it will be clearing the drop here and drop for it will be deleting the list of all students from the screen. It will not present it will not allow the name of the student to be present on the screen of the SQL query. So next and last and the third one query is the alter query, alter query, alter command. And what basically the function of it is it modifies the database scheme. What it does? 
it modifies the data based system how so let's uh, dive deep into this alter object type object name and parameters what is the formula for it first of all we have to write the command name alter then we have to write the object type what is the object type and then object type might be alter object type might be alter table either it might be any or uh, any of the database either it might be view so what we have to do alter then we have to write the object type and then we have to write the name of the object and we have to add any of the parameters object name might be as a branch as a college it might be anything and then we have to write the object name then we have to and write the name of those parameters that we want to add or delete from the object then we have to write the name of the parameter at the end which either i want to delete from the object or either i want to add to the object for example alter table branch as shown in the first sentence written what is the alter table branch as subject vector so suppose we want to add the branch to the table uh, add the subject where uh, subject to the table so what will i alter table branch as subject vector this command will do what this alternate command is uh, attribute in the relation is to tend with the name subject of this data what will do it will add the variable subject to which is of the string type in the table branch what it will do it will add the variable uh, it will add the type uh, subject type named as variable and it will add the subject of the string type inside the table branch what it will do it will add the subject of the string type inside the table branch so friends this is all as the all of today's session and uh, i hope you must have enjoyed for watching the tutorial yeah, i hope uh, and if you have any query regarding this session then you can comment me in the comment box down below and please share it with your friends more and more thank you friends for watching the video please like it comment and comment for the queries your upon queries and share share more with more with your friends and if not subscribe our channel please like um, please like it in the comment box down below um, yeah, and please subscribe our channel and share it to friends and uh, thank you friends